This video is not intended for people under the age of 13 as the game is rated T for teen. Hey guys, it's Bree Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and doing a creative sim makeover video. So this video is essentially just a little bit of a makeover of the best friend sims that come with the Discover University pack. They live in Brightchester in the dorms. Their names are Julia Wright, I believe, and Becca Clark, I think. I can't quite remember, but anyway, uh, if you saw my creator sim video previously about Discover University where I created the sim I'm currently playing with, her name was Alyssa. I created her and she went ahead and moved on over to Brightchester and I moved her into the dorm with Julia and Becca. And I didn't realize it would make me like control them as well. So basically we went ahead and I started playing with them as well. And I just sort of had them living like passively, but I noticed it was kind of fun to help them out with their studies and whatnot. And I have a really fun like story going on with the three of them. So let me know if you want to see a current household video because I'll definitely go ahead and film that soon, probably in December sometime. But yes, because I'm not quite done playing with them yet, so still playing with them. But I just wanted to give them a makeover because I always feel like the EA Sims look so out of place in comparison to my Sims. I do use Maxis Match CC, which means the CC I use, if I use any on Sims, is always very, very similar to what the game looks like. It fits well in the game and it meshes well, but it's still doesn't quite you know what I mean like you can tell the difference because often it looks better <laughs> that sounds so rude um like the makeup looks better oh my lord the makeup the eyelashes the skin the everything like that that kind of stuff looks so much better oftentimes the clothes look very matchy matchy some of them might look worse like they might not quite look like they match with the game or they might look better and same thing with shoes they often can look kind of off it's really hard to get cc shoes right but most of the time i don't use stuff like that if i'm playing in a maxis match world where i'm just trying to be all matchy matchy but i find that if i have other sims in my household that don't have like eyelashes they have the ei eyelashes oh makes me want to vomit so that was the main thing i wanted to fix with these Girlies, you will notice me going ahead and giving a makeover to Alyssa here, there, and everywhere as well. But the main point of this video is to make over Julia and Becca. The one thing I did notice when I was making over these Sims is that Becca, who is the um, brown haired, the lighter brown haired Sim, she doesn't have the most realistic body shape. Now, I know she is a very active Sim. And I don't know if this is what she looks like from the get-go. She might look different from the get-go. And maybe because I've been playing with her so much and she's been going to soccer practice and running and going on jogs and stuff and practicing with her soccer ball, maybe that's made her lose a lot of weight and build a lot of muscle. But her body just looks kind of off. Like her waist looks very, very small and not to the point where I'm skinny shaming or anything like that. It just looks impossibly small. Like it looks like she doesn't have rib cages which isn't natural, obviously. It's not normal. Everyone should have rib cages, I assume. I, I don't think there are people that have no rib cages. If they do, they probably have a lot of trouble with like breathing and stuff. They probably have a lot of lung issues. But anyway, aside the point, if that's what her waist looks like from the get-go, I'm kind of disappointed because I know EA did that a lot in the beginning with a lot of The Sims. They would have extremely, extremely, extremely tiny waists and, butt, and like it would just be so, so, so small to the point where it wasn't realistic. Like it's like if you've ever seen those videos where they like get a Barbie doll and then they make her into a human as though she was humanly proportionate and then they list all the like medical problems she would have if she looked like that in real life. Like she wouldn't be able to stand up or have like correct balance or whatever. Anyway, that's what that reminded me of. So I just wanna let you know if you notice she is abnormally skinny or her waist is abnormally small. I did not do that. I did not make her that small. I wouldn't ever really make a sim with a waist that small just because I don't think it's physically possible. Not because I don't like skinny people or anything like that. Just because it, it's not possible. And I would hate to inflict that upon my audience as something that I think is okay because I don't think that size waist is achievable without like 
surgery <laughs> of like removal of bones. So just letting you know, let me know what you think. If you've played with Becca from the get-go, did you notice she was abnormally wasted? And I didn't want to fix it because I wasn't quite sure. I didn't want to make her waist bigger because then it's like, well, then am I saying that it's not okay to have a waist that small, even if it isn't physically possible? I don't know. I mean, it's just a game, right? But I just thought I'd let you know in case anyone was thinking I'd purposely made her skinnier. No, I hadn't. Um, that's just how she was in my creator sim, though I had had her working out and doing a lot of those things. So maybe the game's like fitness algorithm just naturally made her really tiny. I don't know. But I, in my personal gameplay, I would never make a sim with that small of a waist. That's all I wanted to say. Um, and if you notice it, that's why. So... The, uh, leading into something else, a little bit of a sneak peek into the current household is that I know for now, I know for sure that now Becca's waist is not that small anymore because she went ahead and had a baby whilst at university. Oh my goodness. Drama, hectic. It is so hard. There are literally like the three girls live in the same household with this baby at the moment. And it is so hard, even with three of them, to take care of the baby and them all keep their grades up. Like, this child has impacted all of their grades. And the worst part is the dad is, like, deadbeat. He is noncommittal, hates children. And what's the other one? I think he is, like, romantic. So he's just the worst combo for a dad. Like, he doesn't want anything to do with the kid. When we told him that she was pregnant, he did that, like, crying face and was not happy about it. And then when she invited him to feel her tummy one time, he said no. I've never seen a sim say no before. Hectic, I know. That's all I'll say about the current household update, just to keep you guys interested. And to let you know that her waist did get bigger with pregnancy. So I, I'm not, that's why I wasn't sure if it was like a game mechanic thing, you know. Anyway, this was obviously before she got pregnant. Um, and I also want to let you know, don't get your sims pregnant whilst you're living in the dorms because it will break your game it'll get to a point where the semester ends and if you're pregnant you're apparently not allowed to live in the dorms for some reason um maybe it's because babies are objects and like you can't have a baby there or whatever i don't know but or maybe it's because people younger than teens aren't allowed to live there i'm not sure so we had to move on to a house on campus like in the middle community We went ahead and moved there and had our baby there. But before that, we got stuck in an eternal loop of the packing up event. And I had to quit my game and I lost like a semester's of progress. Mm -hmm. And apparently that also just happens to people even when the Sims aren't pregnant. So if you're playing Discover University, make sure you save at the end of every Sim day, especially leading up to the final two days of the semester. Just a heads up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this creator sim makeover and that you're looking forward to the creator sim, uh, sorry, the current household video. Until next time, hope you'll have a very snazzy day. Also, if you like, please go ahead and check out the links in the description to my Patreon, which is where I'm going to be going ahead and storing my videos. There's more info over there. Okay, anyway, bye.